M0FXB lets program a repeater into the new Kuashang UV5R. So it's like a Bofeng UV5R, the front and the design and everything, but it looks more like a Kuashang UV5 or 6. Anyway, let, this video is about programming a repeater. So first thing you want to do is get yourself into VFO mode. So you have a function button here and which activates all the number keys and they're writing on the on the keys to let you know what they do. So F3 frequency activates mode. frequency mode, which is basically VFO mode. Now we type in our frequency. So we're going to do GB3 uh, BC. So we've got one, one four, four, five, five seven, five, 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 zero. Zero. That's the frequency that we would be listening to for our repeater. Then we're going to start putting in the, the parameters. So we'll go menu. Menu. And let's go start from the top. So we'll go to up and down with these arrows. We go down, up, up takes you, we have a look, lower, <clears throat> lower number. So we'll start at the top. So number one, squelch, we can do menu, squelch. go up to about two. Confirm. Then we'll go down the step. If you want to change the frequency step, that's there. So you change by selecting. So if you want to change the power, you select menu, Hour. up and down to change the power, so that's mid, and then you confirm with your with your M button. Confirm. There is a timeout on the light and the menu. So we'll go down, we're looking for transmit CTCSS. So keep going down to you see TCTCSS, go menu. CTCSS. Then choose the one you want by going up and down. We want 94.8. Confirm. Confirm. Then we go down. We want the shift direction. So go menu. Frequency direction. We want it plus or minus. So minus for a two meter repeater, plus for a 70 centimeter. Press menu. Confirm. So you've confirmed that. We just we do need to program the offset. Now, if it's a two meter repeater, it's normally 0.6 thousand. So let's show you how to do that. So we go menu, menu. and it's menu number nine. We'll go offset and we need to start typing so we go naught zero. naught zero. and at this point you would put a seven but zero. we don't need the seven six hundred if it was 70 centimeters then you go six hundred zero. Zero. and that's it you've put in the 600 shift now i'm just going to show you the seven centi Confirm. seven centimeter one again offset frequency go naught naught seven seven six, six. Zero, 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 zero. There you are. And that would be the 70 centimeters, but we want. Confirm. Push it again. Frequency. No. No. Zero. No. Zero. Six. No. Zero. No. Zero. Enter. Confirm. With the me memory button. So we've got our shift in, our tone, shift amount. I think that's about it. Let's just back out and test it with the exit Cancel. button. So we'll go. M0 FXB test test. I don't know if we'll make it here. M0 FXB test, because we're quite far. So once you've chose your tone, your shift, your frequency, uh, you're good to go. The last thing is to store it to a memory. So you just go menu, menu and go down until you see the word memory channel. So you go menu, memory, that's number 13. Memory channel. Go up and down to choose the channel. So we're going to choose number two. And then we're going to go menu Confirm. and it will ask you again Confirm. and that's it. So if we back out with the exit, Cancel. if we want to go to uh, memory channels, because at the moment with VFO, we can type frequencies and we can go up and down. You just go F number channel three mode. and we're two. in channel mode number two and look, it's gone straight there. There's your memory channels. One. There's number one. Menu. There's no, oh, come out. <laughs> number two. two so that's our favorites in there and just so you know if you want to change bands and say you're in vfo mode we'll go f frequency mode which is vfo if you want to change band just go f1 you can go through the different bands that this radio covers you the backlight does time out there's not much you can do about that if you want to go a and b just go f a number two and you go a and b dual watch you'll need to go in the menu i'll show you that but otherwise, the important one would be radio. So we go F, then zero here. Look, she had no. That turns the radio on. Or F. 
Same goes for scan, F, scan. Scanning begin. And it will scan and listen for another radio to transmit. So let's push. Let's go, um, it's not going to work, but we did try it. All right, scanning two, two meters, not well, that, so let's try that for five, six hundred. Not going to work today, but you get the idea. So the other way you can do it is like you think you can hold up the button and it will scan. One, four. That's scanning memories. If we go F, VFO, and go like so. Hold the button, scan. Let's try F, scan again. Um, F, scan. Scanning begin. There it goes. Oh, no, it's, just, it's funny how it does that, isn't it? It's a bit strange. Anyway. Cancel. Um, you've got a couple of other shortcuts. Let's try them. So we've got F, F, C. Begin. Doing the same again. Excellent. Cancel. F, number five. Not sure. Oh, weather. Ch is that weather channel? It looks like a weather channel. F, we've done the radio. Let's do F. Cancel. F, nine. Channel mode, one. Yeah, let's take a move to channel mode. You've got Vox here. There's no USB-C charging, unfortunately. You do need the cradle charger, which I think is a mistake that they've done that. I don't know whether they've got old Bofungs in here, but you know, it looks the same as the UV5R to me. The, you know, look at the volume control. They have added a very chunky 3800 milliamp hour battery, which is a lot bigger than the standard, a lot bigger. But it doesn't fit on here, and it probably could be made to fit. I think if you remove this tab that they've put at the top, I think then it would actually fit. Now, uh, whether it would work is another matter. Um, very similar, but ultimately, this is the video about the Kuosheng UV5R, and the antennas are similar, slight different design, but uh, similar. So, thanks for watching my channel, 73, all the best.